Hi my beautiful Leos and welcome to my channel. This is going to be your May the 14th, and, or sorry, yeah the 14th through the 21st. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus and Jupiter. So for May I'll be doing a giveaway and I'll be choosing three winners. Each of the winners will get to win a free question from me. So if you're interested, all you have to do is either subscribe to my channel or in the description box below, you can uh, follow me on Instagram. I've also listed all of the services for my one-on-ones and personals, as well as I offer one and two questions. For those of you who are interested, you can check the description box below for everything you need. All right, so let's get into your romance angels, Leo. What can we get for my beautiful Leos? Show me what does Le what do Leo need to know? What does Leo need to know from May 14th through the 21st about love? Show me what this week ahead looks like for Leos and love. All right. So get romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. Let your friends help you. Ask for and accept support from others. There may be something blocking you from ex um, exploring your feelings. Being able to, you know, express your feelings to somebody. And I feel like, you know, talking to your friends, getting an outside opinion is really going to help you to really be able to see this connection for what it is and to help you to express your feelings and make, you know, moves towards this. For some of you, this is your partner that is in this process right now. All right, Leo. Express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. Yeah, definitely. Like, you guys need to express your love. You have feelings for somebody and you're not able to express this. Or this is your partner, not able to express the feelings to you. But I do feel like this week, you know, there's an energy here that I feel where you or your partner is going to feel safe enough to express um, your feelings towards each other. And I feel like that has a lot to do with, you know, your friends guiding you to do that, making you feel safe like you can do that. But there's something that is going to make you feel like you can express because I just feel like they're just your feelings are just going really strong and it's kind of driving you crazy because you guys haven't really had a talk about where this is going if this is somebody new or if this is somebody you're currently with you know wanting to head into a different direction you know move to the next level and not really talking about it because you're unsure but it does look like you guys are going to be talking about that soon so show me what do Leo need to know what does Leo need to know about love from the 14th to the 21st I do see here, yeah, I do see here that, you know, your energy is really great. It's like you're really embracing yourself and who you are. I feel like your friends are really going to be hyping you up, um, you know, letting you realize uh, your worth. And I feel like this person as well is going to be, you know, expressing their feelings to you if they haven't already. And I feel like it's going to give you a huge confidence boost. I feel like, you know, you're really such a beautiful person and I do see that you are going to start realizing that you're going to realize your worth you're going to realize that you are very abundant and you can manifest anything that you want to manifest I see here that there's a lot of people that are admiring you around this time there's a lot of opportunities that are going to be coming your way because your vibration is going to be risen I see here that you know there may be a lot of options in love that you have to choose from or you know if this isn't you, then this could definitely be your partner. But I do see here, like, I have a feeling like that this is your partner seeing you as somebody who is so beautiful and magnetic that they feel like you have other options. And maybe you do, maybe you don't, but your partner definitely feels like you have other options. And I feel like they're very cautious because of that or afraid to open up towards you because of that, afraid that they will... Um, you know, even if you have expressed yourself to this person, I feel like they still are just a little bit insecure about, you know, the feelings that you have towards them I feel like they feel like you are a little bit higher than them and because of that they're a little bit cautious it's like you're very intimidating to this person and um like it's a very cute energy but at the same time to them it's really not like I don't think this person is definitely somebody who is confident and who can go after what they want but with you there's something about you that is just like you are so magnetic and so beautiful and attractive to them and they just find you alluring and they just always assume that you have a lot of options I feel like if you're with this person they notice that people look at you people are very attracted to you and I feel like they're in this energy right now where they feel like they have to fight off the competition whether this is even just you know you getting a certain comment on your Instagram I do see that they're definitely 
and, and energy where they are looking at your social media, looking at, you know, the pictures that you post, the comments that are being said. And I feel like if there's somebody that says something that is a little too sweet, they are going to get a little bit defensive about it. And I feel like they're putting up, um, putting up their guards because of that. It's like, even if you express how you feel towards them and they see somebody leave a comment, they're going to wonder like, oh, she's seeing that person. Oh, is she talking to that person? Like they're very cautious. This is somebody that, you know, they really want you and they really want to hold on to you. They don't want to lose you to somebody else and they don't want to feel like they could lose you to somebody else. This person does have a lot of self-esteem issues that they need to deal with. And I feel like, you know, they've always had these issues and I feel like they never really realized until you came along. It's like you're kind of bringing that out of them and, you know, in a way that's going to help them heal a part of them that they never even knew they needed to heal. So that is a good thing. All right, Leo, from the 14th to the 21st. For some of you, you are um, balancing somebody. You guys are balancing two people. You're, you know, talking to two people, entertaining two people, but it's becoming too much. You're really deciding that you need to just stick with one person. I see here that there is somebody that is, you know, a wish fulfillment to you, but, you know, you may just be unsure of how they feel because they're not able to really express that to you. I do see here that, you know, whatever it is that you're wishing for, whatever it is that you're wanting is definitely going to come true for you. I feel like you're putting in the energy and the effort towards it. And because of that, you guys are going to get the Ten of Cups. I do see the Ten of Cups here for you guys and also um, with the star here. But there is a decision that needs to be made. There is balance that needs to happen between the two of you guys. And once that happens, you guys are going to, you know, get that wish come true to be together, to be, you know, to be one. And with the Ten of Cups here, it's saying that this is a relationship that is going to make you completely happy. This is a, like, you're going to get your fairy tale ending with this person. And it may be that, you know, there are other options that are, you know, coming in as tests, but deep in your heart, you know, which way you want to go. You know, which person is yours, you know, which person is going to give you this ending and you know, which one you want to go through your life path with. So, you know, it does look like this, um, if you aren't committed to this person, I do see that you will be getting committed to them. But, you know, there's a, a lot of energy about people being attracted to you this week. Like, there is going to be a lot of people attracted to you. And if you're single and, you know, you haven't really had a date or whatever in a while, like, I really feel like that is all going to change because, you know, there's just something about you, something in the air, or maybe there's, like, something within the planets right now or, you know, this week coming up that is going to be shifting. And a lot of people are going to be seeing you for who you are and you're going to be seeing yourself for who you are. So maybe it's that you're on a different vibration so you're attracting a lot of people on a higher vibration maybe it's that you were attracting people before but not people that you're interested in and now you know the people that are going to be attracted to you are people that are going to be very interested in you and it may you know at times you may feel a little bit it's like they may be illusions some some of these options may be illusions so really just you know trust your gut trust your intuition with who because it does look like there is someone in your life that is going to give you the life that you want there's definitely potential to have children with this person, to move in with them, to, you know, have that perfect fairy tale ending with them. But, you know, don't cut up, get caught up in other options. For some of you, this is a renewal with somebody that you once had something with in the past. Some of you, this could even be like a friend that you you know, you've had for a long time and you never really saw them and, and um, you never saw them as anything more, but now you're starting to see them as something more. This is a friend that has always liked you, but you kind of friend zoned them. And now you're starting to see them in a different way. I do see here that there is something to, that you guys are going to be celebrating. For some of you, this could be an engagement here because um, it does look like you guys get to the Ten of Cups. So, you know, for some of you, this could be an engagement. This could be finding out about a pregnancy, but there is something to celebrate. There is this wish of yours that is coming true that you guys are going to be celebrating. For some of you, this may be career-wise, but whatever dream or whatever wish, whatever it is that you are hoping for the most, the absolute most, just know that it's coming to you because you are going to be celebrating something this week. Some of you may be just celebrating with your friends because they helped you to get to where you are right now with this person or where you're going to be with this person.
or it does look like you are going to get the stability that you want with this person. You know, this is you looking, you know, looking at the fact that you are stable, you are happy. I feel like if this is a career, if this is regarding your career, this is a career that is going to, you know, give you that abundant lifestyle that you want. But this is just you again, embracing this abundant lifestyle and you know going from you know possibly being single to being in a committed relationship i do see stability is really on your mind this week and that is your main focus it's almost like i feel like you may some of you may actually be getting engaged because i really feel like you're going from this energy of really celebrating something you know getting something that you've wanted for a long time and then you know it's like the night after when you wake up and you realize that you have it you have that thing it's like when you were celebrating it was still like kicking in but then the next day you wake up and you're just like sitting at that sitting there you know with that person or with that job or with you know that looking at your bank account if it's money that comes in and just kind of embracing it and really being like oh my god like this is actually my life so this is really beautiful. I really hope that, you know, this resonates for you guys. And if it does and you would like a personal reading, my information is down below. Um, I hope you guys have a wonderful week and I'll see you next week. Bye, my loves.